All right, here's our video on the z-axis. And when we use the z-axis, we're talking about three-dimensional shapes. So when we use the x and y plane, on the x and y plane, we use two-dimensional shapes, 2D. The x and y plane, or the coordinate plane, or the Cartesian grid, which they used to call a long time ago after Rene Descartes, right? But when we use 3D, we need the x, and the x always comes first, then the y, then the z last. So on the 2D, two-dimensional plane, we use x and y. So let's give an example. Uh, let's draw a picture of a room. That might explain it a little better. All right, so let's make a room here. We have our room, right? We have a wall, and there is our floor. Let's finish the wall. There's the left wall. There's the right wall. And then we have our, our floor, right? A little cut up here. And let's just say the floor is this color here. What is that color? Kind of a purplish magenta, maybe. All right. Fun fact, magenta doesn't actually exist. The brain makes that color up. All right. Anyway. anyway. Distracting everybody. So if we think of the floor, think of two dimensions, right? Think of the area, because area is always with two dimensions, right? When you learned area going back, way back to sixth grade, right? So if you think of that, there's the X, X would be there. That is the Y and the Z would be up there. So think of the X and Y as the two dimensional shape and the Z adding depth to it to make three dimensions. All right, so clear that out. Let's get to a picture up here. Here's our picture. Let's look at these points. It's easier to see these points, and you got to go slow at first. You know, you got to train your eye. Let's look at, let's put some numbers to this. All right, so here you see our X. Here's our little X hanging out over there. There's the Y axis, and there's the Z axis. Okay, so let's, and this is the origin. So this is at, in this point here is the origin. So let's look at A. Where would A be? So let's just say that A, and we're just talking about where it lands on the x-axis, this whole axis over here. We'll say it lands at, let's say, 4. And again, I'm not giving the coordinates, just where A is on the x. And let's just say B on the y is at 7. And let's say C over here on the z is at, let's say, 6. And we're just using numbers just so we understand this. Now, this could be a cube for all we know, but for now, let's just use those numbers. Again, they're not the coordinates. They're just where they fall on the axis. So let's see how we could put, let's just start with E. We'll start with E. What would be the X, the Y, and the Z of E? All right, so if you see where the E is, it's straight down. We'll use that. It meets the Y with B. It's parallel to B. So we know on the Y already for E, it's at 7. It's at 7 on this Y. And if we go across here using another color, we'll use our little purple. If we go straight across here to C, it meets the C at 6. So we know the Z has to be, bring back our red, at 6. But where does it fit on the X? So to f let's go find the X. So if we went to Z and then went straight down, the E does not appear there. Where would the E appear? It doesn't appear with A and D because A and D are jetting out. The E is not moving on the X, so it's at zero. The E is at zero because look where it is. We see it on the, if we could take this E by itself, sometimes you got to break it apart. There's the E. On the Z, it's at six. On the Y, it's at seven. But it, here's the X. So the it's behind the X, right? So it's at zero. Unless it was coming out or going backwards, it's at zero. Let's do a few more. Maybe you'll 
You'll get it. Let's try the B. What would be the coordinates of B? So I'll pause the tape, and then we'll come back and see what you can do. All right. Again, follow it out. Think of it two-dimensional first. So the B on the Y, it's right on the Y. You know it's at 7. And if you follow it out on the Z, it's not going up at all. So it's at 0 on the Z. And is it jetting out from the X? No. It's at 0 on the X also. So again, if we did a two-dimensional uh, shape, let's get our eraser over here, get rid of this for a minute. Racing time. All right. Should get a better eraser. And let's make a different color. We'll make green. So let's look at the B, where the B is. So again, the B is at 7 on the Y. It's at 0 on the Z. And here's the X. It's also on 0 on the X. That's why we got 0, 7, 0. All right, well, let's try F. Try F. Pause the tape and try F. What did you get? Did you pause the tape? Think of it two-dimensional first. Take it one at a time. So right now we're having, with the X and Z, where is F? So let's put our X, Y, and Z. Remember, X comes first. X, Y, and Z. So on the X axis, it's straight down from A. It's coming out on the X axis. We know it's at 4. Now, if it's on 4 here, is it coming out on the Y? No, it's at 0 on the Y. But it's at the same height as C, so it'll be 6, 4, 0, 6. Shall we try one more? Try D. Try D. What is D? The X, the Y, and the Z. So you break it down. Right now we have this point right over here. It's coming out of the X. It's coming out. So we know it's at 4. It's the same as A. At 4. In fact, it's coming out of Y, too. It's the same level as B. It's at 7. Is it going up on the C, on the Z, that is? No, it's not going up at all. So it's 4, 7, 0. That's the coordinates. All right, let's 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 do some more practice. All right, let's look at point Q over here. Get the pen going. We'll try that color. So again, we have our X, our Y, and our Z. So again, this is the X over here. This is the... Uh, this is not the y-axis, by the way. That's the y-axis over here. And then there's the z. So if we look at the x, where should it be? Well, here's q, and it's coming out from the x. You see, this is the this, think of this as the back wall. This is the back wall, and it's coming out. See, it's coming out. We'll put an arrow. It's coming out from the back wall. And where is it landing? Well, it's the same as that number there, negative 5. So negative 5 is x. See how it's coming? Think of a wall and how it's coming out of the wall. Now in the y, think of this. We'll, we'll say right here. This right here is the back wall. And it's going out from y. In this case, it's going backwards, but you know what I'm saying. It's coming out from the wall, and where is it hitting? Where does it hit the Y? Right, the same place here. Not here, but here, I mean, right there. And if you connect those points on the back wall, it's at negative 5. It gets a little messy. And then where is its height? Where is its depth? Well, it's on the same depth as this whole plane right here. And that's at 7. So that's why we got negative 5, negative 5, 7. I think we need one more to clear it up. 
let's clear this up. Let's clear this section up and do it again. Let's say this point right here, this point right here, let's just call it, what should we call it? Call it uh, M. Why not? Where is point M? So if we follow, we know that it's on the same plane as the Q right here, this wall. So we know that the M, we'll put the X, R, Y, and Z. We know the M would also be at 7. Was it a 7 there, right? Now, where would it be on the X? So here's the X. Remember, that's the X. Not what it's saying here. That's the Y. Get rid of that. And this is the Z. So the M on the X is going away from... This is the X right here. This is the X right here. Think of the back wall. If this is the X, then this is the back wall. What I'm filling in is the back wall. So it's at zero on X because it is on the back wall. That may be a way of remembering it. Now, what about the Y? Where does it fit on the Y? Well, here's the Y. Right? Follow this straight down. Follow it straight down. When we're thinking of the Y, here's a wall from the Y. It's going where? Negative 5. So again, think two-dimensional first. So again, if we're looking at this point here, this X, Y, and Z, we'll say it's point P. Let's go back there, not there. Point P, make sure the pen works. We'll call it point P. So you can see that if we're trying to find the X, this is where the X axis is. And it's coming out of the X. It's coming out of the X from the wall on the Y. So here's two-dimensional. Here's our X. Here's our Y. Try to get that one first. So the X here, let's just say that's 3. So if that's 3, and this point is the wall, so that X has to be 3 also. Use another color now for the Y. Here's our Y. Here's our Y point. It's the same distance as this point down here. And let's say that is, let's just say that's uh, 3 also. So then the Y would be 3. And then you can see that it is in the same plane right here. And let's say that's 5, then Z would be 5. Takes a little practice. Review the tape. Great job.